the 2023 CMA Awards, co-hosted by Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning, are airing live from Nashville's Bridgestone Arena on ABC Jelly Roll is on a roll. The country singer took home the CMA Award for New Artist of the Year at Nashville's Bridgestone Arena on Wednesday, winning over fellow nominees Zach Bryan, Parker McCollum, Megan Moroney and Hayley Witters. During his acceptance speech, the I Need a Favor singer, 38, waved his award in the air and shared how thankful he was, Nashville. I only got a second, and I'm gonna say a lot, and I'm sorry. The quickest I can say is thank you to the labels, Stony Creek Management, you saved my life. Country Radio, what's up, baby? I got a thousand people to thank, but most importantly, my lord and my wife. I love you so much. You changed my life, he said. He even gave a sweet shout-out to his fellow nominees, Megan, Parker, Haley. I love all of y'all, we're friends. Zach Bryan, I think you are one of the hottest things on earth, not just country music, you deserve this as much as anybody else. I love you. I'm glad we're sitting there partying the rest of the night, baby. The singer-songwriter also opened up about how special it was to win the award, as he turns 39 in December. There is something poetic about a 39-year-old man winning New Artist of the Year. I don't know where you're at in your life or what you're going through, but I want to tell you to keep going, baby. I want to tell you success is on the other side. I want to tell you it's gonna be okay, he said. He concluded, what's in front of you is so much more important than what's behind you. Let's party, Nashville. Jelly Roll gained massive fanfare last year with his album Ballads of the Broken and his single Son of a Sinner, which became his first top five hit on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. This year, he continued the success with the new album, Wits at Chapel, and hit songs including Save Me with Lainey Wilson and Wild Ones with Jesse Murph. The 2023 CMA Awards, hosted by Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning, are airing live from Nashville's Bridgestone Arena on ABC, and the ceremony will stream exclusively via Hulu on Thursday.